Hi, everybody! Tokyo Game Show is happening a few days from the time I'm writing and recording this video, and I thought it'd be fun to make some predictions on what I think might be announced and why they might be announced. The likelihood of these predictions happening are remarkably low, but hey, this is just meant for fun. So let's get into the predictions. But before we do, I'd love to hear what your predictions for Tokyo Game Show are. Let me know in the comments section. East 10 is slated to come out on September 28th, which isn't too long after Tokyo Game Show wraps up. NIS America typically announces something during Tokyo Game Show, so it wouldn't be all that surprising to me if NIS uses this as an opportunity to announce at least one Nihon Falcom localization. Now I realize NISA aren't just a Falcom localization machine, and they even have properties of their parent company, Nippon Ichi Software, they have to bring westwards. However, since 2017, NIS America have been localizing at minimum one Falcom title per year since then. The first title they localized was Ace 8, The Lacrimosa of Donna, widely considered the best game in the franchise. So it'd just make sense to localize East 10 next year. Nihon Falcom themselves have stated on numerous occasions in the past few years they want to decrease the time it takes to localize the games. If the trend continues, then East 10 makes the most sense for localization because East games are much simpler games to localize because of their scripts always being much shorter than the Trails games. Also, since East 10 isn't even out in Japan yet, it'd really be a dawn of a new era for Falcom in the West. I get the feeling we will see this game next year, though I am not 100% certain it'll be announced at Tokyo Game Show. If I were to hazard a guess, we'll probably hear about it around March if we don't have it at TGS as an announcement, and it'll release sometime in the fall, as that would stick to NISA's typical release pattern for Falcom titles. I'll be covering another Falcom title later on in the video, so stick around for that. However, next up we're covering something from Atlas. Earlier this year, we had a slew of Atlas titles announced during the Xbox Showcase, ranging from Persona 3 Reload, Metaphor Re Fantasio, and Persona 5 Tactica. All games I've covered a little bit on this channel. Links for those will be in the description and in a pinned comment. I get the feeling though we're going to see something Persona related from Atlas at Tokyo Game Show because this is the last truly big event in the gaming year before the Game Awards in December. That is, unless we have another Nintendo Direct, PlayStation State of Play, or Xbox Showcase. Which, who knows, those could happen. So what do I expect will get announced from Atlas if they make an announcement at all? I imagine we'll see Persona 6 announced via a teaser trailer. This is partially because rumors have been swirling for a while now we'll see something P6 related. But there's also the fact Atlas fans have been going absolutely apeshit regarding Atlas milking Persona 5 for all it's worth. Despite P5 being the most celebrated Persona title, it is also very long in the tooth, having released in 2016 for Japan and 2017 for the rest of the world. We've also had a number of spin-off titles since then. So, to say Persona fans and JRPG fans as a whole are a little bit burnt out on Persona 5 at this point in time would be a massive understatement. What do I think the likelihood of Persona 6 being announced is though? I actually think this one is the most likely to happen of my three predictions. Persona 6 likely entered early development stages either just before Persona 5 launched or just a little bit afterwards. On average, AAA video games take 2-5 to five years to develop. With Persona 5 now being 6 years old, it's likely Persona 6 is in the late stages of development. So if it isn't announced here, I do believe it'll be announced in the very near future and will likely release a few months to half a year after the initial announcement. However, I think an announcement at the Game Awards is the most likely given that we'll have more eyes on it in general and Persona is now a household name in the gaming world. So I said we'd get back to Falcom, so let's cover that next. I covered in a previous video why 2023 was the year of Nihon Falcom. This was in no small part thanks to the sheer volume of Trails games getting localized. It was three to be precise. The early part of the year started out strong with The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure, which I'm working on a review of as we speak. Next up was Trails into Reverie, which I'm currently playing, and oh my god, this is my favorite game of all time. A review for that will be up once I've completed the game. 
The Legend of Nyuta, Boundless Trails, also recently launched, and I will be picking that game up digitally at some point, as I'm not as heavily invested into that game as I am into the mainline Trails titles. In 2022, we also had the release of Trails from Zero. So in the last calendar year, we've had three mainline games and one spin-off title from the Trails series. Some gamers have stated they'd like a break from the Trails series to avoid burnout. However, when you look at the fact we've gotten so many games localized in such a short period of time, comes down to Falcom wanting the West caught up to them. At this stage, we're just two mainline games behind. Those being Kuro no Kaseki and Kuro no Kaseki 2 Crimson Sin. The first Kuro title came out on the PS4 in September of 2021 and was ported to the PS5 and PC in July of last year. Crimson Sin launched in late September of last year for the PS4 and PS5. The PC port followed up a few months later. We know thanks to an interview with Tashihiro Kondo conducted by Push Square last year, Falcom plans on getting the game localized. We also know it's going to be NIS America localizing the title thanks to NISA putting the kibosh on a fan translation patch. I'm more or less using the same logic I used for the East 10 speculation earlier in the video. However, I think given we're still behind on trails and are basically caught up with East, this one is going to take priority. Though I imagine we'll see both titles announced for localization around the same time. If NIS wishes to get a game out in the early quarters of next year, then East would be the easier of the two. Unless, of course, they've had the localization rights for Kuro for two years. In which case, moot point. Anyways, I think an announcement for Kuro no Kiseki at Tokyo Game Show actually makes a lot of sense. Even though NIS America could have announced this and East 10 during their own recent showcase, Basically, with the Calvert arc, it's a matter of when, not if. So those were my three predictions for Tokyo Game Show. What did you think of them? Let me know in the comments. Also, tell me some of your predictions as well, as I'd be happy to read them and respond to them as well. Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Two of my previous videos will be popping up on screen now. One of them will be Persona 3 related, and the other will be Trails related. Until next time, keep blazing that trail.